Large language models are trained on a huge corpus of data. This data is normally very generic. It covers lot of domains and it is normally in the history. This data and in return the large language model in question doesn't know about your own personal data or your specific domain or in other words it's not specialized in any sort of domain or task. If you want to adapt a large language model as per your own domain as per your own use case or as per your own custom data then you need to fine tune it. Fine tuning a model requires a quality data set. What it means is that for example you want to train a model on your own company's data. Now that company data just cannot be fed into a model as is because the data could be in any format. It could be PDF, it could be text, it could be in CSV format or the list goes on and on and on. Now the thing which need to be remembered is that the more quality oriented your data would be the more performance your model would be. If your model has been trained on garbage then garbage in garbage out. So make sure that you spend as much time on your data as possible. One of the biggest roadblock in terms of implementing these LLMs on your own specific domain is the acquiring of a good data set. Because creating a data set by hand takes time. And there are a lot of steps involved in that. So in this video, I am introducing you this tool which is called as Distill Label. Distill Label allows you to create a synthetic data set from scratch. The good thing about this tool is that you don't require any GPU, you don't need to pay anything for any API calls, and you don't even need a big beefy system. I will be showing you how you can get it installed on your Colab. We don't we won't even be using the T4 GPU which comes with Colab for free and then we will just create a synthetic data set with the help of this distilled label. But before I do that, let me give you a bit more information around this distilled label. It is primarily a framework for synthetic data generation and if you require high quality outputs and data set with full ownership privately and you want it efficient then I would highly suggest that give it a go. Whether you are working on a predictive model that computes semantic similarity or the next generative model that is going to beat the LLM benchmarks, this distill label framework ensures that the hard data work pays off. Distill label is a missing piece in this puzzle that helps you synthesize data and provide AI feedback. There are a lot of good things which are present in this GitHub repo and I'll drop the link in this video's description. Let me show you how you can get it installed. Before we go there, there are two things which we need to do. First and foremost, go to Hugging Face website. Sign up with your email address if you haven't got an account. Then log in. And then in the top right, click on your profile photo. Go to settings. In the left hand side, click on access token. And make sure that you have a token there. If you don't, just click on new token. Select right. And then just give it any name. The reason why we are doing it is that we will be writing our newly created synthetic data set from distill label to hugging face so that we would be able to use it or share it with our team or with the fault. Also, in the same hugging face, just create a new data set. And in order to create a new data set, just click on your top right, new data set, and then give it any name. Just like I have given it this name, chef here, to my own data set and then just copy this repo name. So we have our new dataset repo on Hugging Face and we have our token from Hugging Face. These are the two things which we need. Let's go back to our Colab. So this is a Colab and if I show you the runtime, you see that I am just running it on CPU. You can opt for GPU but there is no point because everything can be run easily on our CPU. That said and done, let's go and install it on our local system. First, I am going to give it a very simple seed data. So if you look at this data, this is a very simple array where there are two items. First is uh, this one, first row and second row, and they are delimited by a comma here. In the first one, I'm just saying that 
ingredients required for making simple pizza and then i'm just give, giving the ingredients of pizza if you want you can simply i'm just going to remove this because i was just using it for my previous version but that is fine you can simply move it from here and then similarly there is another row of this array where we are just giving another item the ingredients needed for biryani biryani is a very very famous awesome dish from pakistan and then also in parts of india and few other countries in south asia so this is our data set or the seed data set which we will be piping into distilled label and distilled label is going to create a full blown synthetic data set out of our these two items so our array is initialized let's install the prerequisite which is simply our distilled label i'm running it from git let's wait for it to get installed shouldn't take too long now prerequisites are installed let's also click on this key icon and store our hugging face token here i'm storing it in hf underscore right underscore token so that i will be able to use it in my code let me get another cell and simply import some of the libraries this is a repo from hugging face and this is the hugging face token which i am importing here is done and now let's specify our model and with this still label we are going to use mistral and let me show how so this is a model id we are giving it then this is a temperature which will show the creativity of the model i have kept it 0.7 bit higher so that because we are creating a data set we want model to be creative you can increase it if you want and then we, we are just defining a pipeline in this pipeline i'm just doing this chef pipeline you can give it any name and then this is the inference api endpoint from hugging face and we are passing our hugging face token which we have defined above here and then we are loading the data which we have just defined this is the seed data and then we are generating it with mistral so let me run it it is done and now let me run my pipeline you see i'm just running it with pipeline bit from the distal label and this is going to generate our data set and store it in our dist set this is how easy it is it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish you see it has finished and it has also given us some of the warnings but you can ignore them that is fine our data set is done let me print it out there you go so this is our data set which it has created from chosen rejected and of course you can change it as you like so this is how easy it is to create a data set from a synthetic data set with the help of this distilled label i will also drop the link to it in video's description and one more thing if you want to push it to uh, hugging face repo let me also show you the command this is a this is a command which you need to use push to hub and it is going to push it to the hugging face um, repo which we just created and that is going to take a bit of our time so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching